Tegmark's argument on quantum immortality, a critical analysis. Quantum mechanics has revolutionized our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality. In his thought-provoking paper titled Quantum Immortality, physicist Max Tegmark presents an intriguing proposition regarding the potential implications of quantum mechanics on human mortality. This video critically examines Tegmark's argument, focusing on its logical coherence, scientific validity, and implications. The primary aim is to assess whether Tegmark's ideas offer a compelling framework for understanding the nature of conscious existence and the potential for immortality in a quantum universe. Tegmark first introduces the Menuhold's interpretation of quantum mechanics, which posits the existence of multiple parallel universes. He argues that if consciousness arises from the brain's neural activity, and if microscopic quantum events influence macroscopic ones, then our consciousness could only exist in the branches of the multiverse where one's survival is perpetuated. Tegmark maintains that from the perspective of an individual, they will always subjectively perceive themselves to survive, even in situations where others perceive them to die. This concept, known as quantum immortality, is predicated on the assumption that consciousness can only inhabit branches of the multiverse in which it remains alive. Critics argue that Tegmark's quantum immortality argument relies on purely subjective experiences and elicits untestable claims. These claims, they contend, undermine the scientific rigor of his argument and relegate it to philosophical speculation rather than scientific investigation. Another point of contention revolves around the nature of the observer effect and wave function collapse. Tegmark posits that consciousness always perceives itself as surviving because observation collapses a superposition into a unique state. Critics argue that this argument may be a misinterpretation of quantum mechanics, as the observer effect is limited to microscopic phenomena. Tegmark supports his argument with various thought experiments, such as quantum Russian roulette, where a quantum gun is fired towards a person's head. He suggests that due to the existence of parallel universes, the person would always experience themselves surviving, regardless of the outcome observed by external observers. Tegmark's assertions have far-reaching implications for existential philosophy, prompting profound questions about the nature of consciousness, the self, and the preservation of identity across parallel universes. However, Critics argue that such metaphysical claims might overstep the boundaries of scientific inquiry and fall outside the realm of empirical evidence-based reasoning. An essential aspect to consider when evaluating Tegmark's argument is Occam's razor, which favors explanations with the fewest assumptions. Some critics claim that alternative explanations, such as quantum decoherence or the existence of multiple parallel universes without conscious observers, provide more parsimonious accounts of quantum phenomena. Tegmark's quantum immortality argument has a direct bearing on the question of personal survival beyond death. However, it raises ethical dilemmas and philosophical quandaries regarding our responsibility towards other conscious beings within the multiverse. Can we manipulate quantum events to influence the universe we inhabit to enhance the survival of others? Critics argue that while Tegmark's argument may be intellectually stimulating, it does not contribute substantially to our scientific understanding of quantum mechanics or the nature of consciousness. They contend that the subjectivity and unfalsifiability of his claims hinder their integration into established scientific frameworks. In conclusion, Max Tegmark's argument on quantum immortality offers a fascinating perspective on the potential relationship between quantum mechanics and our subjective experience of reality. While Tegmark's ideas spark intriguing philosophical and ethical questions, they also face substantial criticism for their scientific validity and untestable nature. Further research and empirical evidence are required to substantiate the claims put forth in Tegmark's argument and ascertain the true implications of quantum mechanics on mortality and consciousness.